focus of info blocks is taking this great amount of data from change, configuration, discovery, compliance, policies, and putting it into a usable format so you can actually make actionable decisions. And our dashboard view helps you do just that. So we're looking at this timeline view. This helps understand the impact of change over time. What I mean by that is I can see all my different changes. I can look at different time periods. Right now I'm looking at a 30-day window, but I could look at any day, week, month, seven-day, or 30-day period and see how the impact of change happens, both my issues violations as well as my policy compliance violations. So I can see, for example, if I'm making changes, things should be getting better. But if I see a spike in either issues or policy compliance, I can tie that and help easily visualize that over time to see if I did something three days ago and it caused a rash of problems, I can see exactly that and then start to drill down into more detail. I can also get high level views of seeing my most changed devices as well as what's my overall policy compliance. And I can also look at my network scorecard, which helps me identify the correctness and stability of your network. And the quantifiable metrics really there to help you determine if things are getting better, staying the same or getting worse. Typically for most organizations, as long as that score is staying the same or getting better, they feel good. But if they see a drop in that number, then they realize something has occurred over time that's impacted the correctness or stability of the network, and they'll drill down to make those decisions. As well as I can pick any device group. So right now I'm looking at my entire network, but if I wanted to drill down into any other device group, I could do that, and the attributes would change for each individual dashboard. I can also pick another dashboard and go to my change summary, for example. And this dashboard gives me views of my changes. So what are my most changed types? What are my most changed models? What jobs do I have pending approval? How many changes did I have on a daily or hourly basis? What are my most changed devices or most active change makers? So again, you can leverage this to find potential spikes or see the information in a much more digestible format. So say, for example, again, you're only supposed to have changes maybe over the weekend during a maintenance window, and I see changes throughout every day like this example, that could be a problem, and I can make a decision on what I want to do to help solve that issue. I can also go to a third dashboard and look at our issue summaries. And this view takes the information from the issues, whether it's a policy violation going against compliance or best practices, or a networking best practice like port duplex mismatch, and bring this information to your attention. Again, a much more digestible format of looking at my issue types, my affected devices, what are my trends over time, and what are my different issues. But one of the powerful things about InfoBlocks and the network automation platform isn't just giving you a high-level view of the information. I can actually drill down within a few mouse clicks to see exactly what is the problem or what is the culprit. So, for example, if I want to drill down and say, what is my policy violation going forward on NSA 1.1c, a single click, and I've gone from a high-level view down to a detailed view showing every device that's impacted that policy violation. So again, I've gone from a high-level 30-day window down single click into a very specific amount of problems for that specific violation and the ability to do one more click and drill down into any individual device and see what's going on with that device. I can look at my device viewer to see what's occurring. And now I have all my network analysis views, whether it's issues, changes, policy compliance. I can look at my device and network insight, my security control, the interfaces, firewalls, configuration, management, settings and status, etc. All that, again, a single mouse click away from where I was at my dashboard point of view. As I close that out, again, there's many other tasks I can do, again, with a simple right mouse click. I can run a config, view my running config, make changes. I can actually schedule a job from this mouse click and actually make a change to my network device. I can do my job name. I can do a job description, whether it's been approved or not, and pick my specific job I might want to run to actually solve a problem or to fix an issue. And again, the power of this is to have all the information at your fingertips very quickly, but also the ability to drill down very easily. And we went through the entire demo of the InfoBlox network automation platform. We showed you a lot of rich, detailed data that can drill down, but also you can want to look at the reports to get a higher level view of exactly what's going on from a trending aspect. And with our report views, I can do any kind of report I want to run from an asset report to a change in configuration report to compliance to health to security and ACLs and rules to switch port management to see what's connected to my switch ports and the end devices. And I have all these at my fingertips. Many of them are embedded out of the box. I can also tweak or customize or import my own reports very simply, very easily. I can run them on demand. I can schedule them. I can send them out to certain people. I can export them. I have all this information at my fingertips, 
But this really ties back to the whole goal of the Infoblox network automation platform to give you that rich detailed discovery of the network, change of configuration, compliance management, managing and provisioning the ACLs and rules, both in a real time view and a very detailed view, but also putting into a usable format to do trending, to do analysis, to help reduce the amount of time it takes for audits, etc., etc. To learn more about the Infoblox network automation family of products, please visit www.infoblox.com.